everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for January 28th. There it is, 2022. Angel Souls, 444.com for personal readings, gumroad.com. I keep wanting to say another thing. Gumroad.com slash Angel Souls for Archangel Meditation Challenges. The newest one up is Archangel Ariel. Get on over there and check it out. So the card that came right out of the deck is the Lovers, Archangel Raphael. But connection here, people. I am not even lying to you. <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you. Let's do this. Okay. Make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments. The power of love. Okay. When we clear away the toxicity, you're going to hear me talk about this a lot. When we're clearing that away and we start, ugh, this goes deep, guys, because this feels like, because I heard the message of uh, exposing your wounding. So this could be a thing where whatever, you're, whoever you're having a discussion with, if that starts to happen on this day, um, you discover they're coming from a certain pain place. You're coming from a certain pain place. And maybe there can be a meeting of hearts and minds. Now, what you want to be careful of is the sob story. Especially if someone, now if somebody had a troubled background and they were just ashamed to share that and you know that took a while to come out okay that's one thing because it's hard that's hard to bring that out but if someone treated you poorly and they're trying to you know do whatever they're playing their games and all of a sudden they have this magical sob story don't fall for that okay don't fall for that uh and be careful of anybody who's like i just i really want to put this out there because i do feel like there are some really strong soul connections coming together this is very much happening and these might be, there might be a rocky start. And yet you do need to come together and accomplish something, or you do need to come together and learn some more lessons. But I want to put this word of caution out there because then this is a general reading. So everybody is going to be listening to this and whatever Yahoo comes along next, you're like, oh, you're the one that's supposed to come back. <laughs> you might be having an ex who's coming back to get money from you. Or, you know what I'm saying? And you go right into it thinking, well, we have more to learn. Yeah, to learn not to give money to your freaky ex, okay? Like, who never cared about you in the first place. Be careful for everybody. It's going to be different. Is this the potential to have... Because there are going to be some souls out there that are letting the delusion fall. And we're getting clarity. And so whoever is still standing in that, that clear light... They're going to recognize one another. They're going to say, we need to talk. I didn't know this. Well, I didn't know that. And then they can have a coming together in this whole other sort of realm. <laughs> I guess I don't know how else to put it. And yet others will still be in the delusion, in the darkness, and um, trying to, it's almost like playing house, right? So it's trying to pretend like everything is okay. It's trying to pretend like this is my soulmate. Oh, this is my twin flame. This is my, my one and only partner. But they're still in the darkness and they're still in the toxicity and they're just making excuses uh, for their partner's bad behavior. I can't tell you how many times I've come across specifically women who date men um, and, and they're cowering with their partner. Or they're like, don't say that in front of him. That'll set him off or, you know, whatever. Just tiptoeing around their partner constantly. Now, some people have a soul's contract where they're supposed to be experiencing that. Okay, but be, just be careful, I guess is what I'm getting at here. All right, don't make excuses for bad behavior. Come into the light. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.